Another interesting tool in Cinema 4D is direct connect with the Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator. You can <clears throat> design your vector works here and you can simply click and drag inside Cinema 4D or it's automatically uh, insert with a vector import. You can click vector import and simple in the file you can address your file here import in Cinema 4D. Okay, simply I open my file in Cinema 4D and comes in one file, it's vector import. If you go into the coordinate manager and as you can see, it's dimensions is 100 centimeter because it's exactly at the dimension that we design in a illustrator. It's very important when you create your file, your dimension units set to be centimeter for inserting in a correct dimension in Cinema 4D. Okay, set it to centimeter. And after that, it's simply insert in Cinema 4D and you can see we have all 3D files here with that colors that you design in a Illustrator. We have it here, very simple. And you have a lots of motion graphic tools here. I give an example with a simple file. Open new to better understanding. Centimeter. For example, in a fill color, we set it to, to the green. And the stroke color, something green. And then, for example, draw a star here. Okay, and then I want to uh, bring the stroke color bigger. Mm, that's nice. And simply save this file as any file that you want. Save it, for example, in your desktop. In any version that you want, it's no matter now. You can uh, insert a new file going to or click and drag you can simply click and drag here okay i simply click and release in the uh, viewport of cinema 4d and the adobe illustrator import will be open here we have a, a small setting that's very simple in a scale you have to set it in centimeter for example if you document in illustrator 100 if you set it to when you import it, it's set to 200 centimeter. Okay, set it one scale one that insert a file exactly at the folder of the illustrator. Create vector object, create that green object here and its settings. I will definitely tick that. Force PDF and greedy fill. I have a mm, simple explain for them. I don't want to explain technically simple if you insert any file in a Cinema 4 that notice that some of your file does not insert, tick one of them or tick both of them and experiment them. So your model will be imported. Okay, will be okay. And this is our star here. And as you can see, uh, the dimension that we designed in this illustrator is here. Going to its settings, you can simply change your file in Illustrator, for example, uh, changing the color of the stroke to the yellow, make it bigger, make sure your file does not overlap the edges, and Ctrl S, save it go back to the cinema 4d simply refresh that and as you can see it's refresh here okay the first option is here layer option uh, i'd uh, explain you in this file here we have a big file you can uh, change layer offset of z-axis here the important Thing is pass spread you can spread your model you can see better in this huge file you can spread your model 
like this we have a lots of model you can split your model and your file here to see what you got here and turning back and of course uh, we can separate all these files here don't worry going back in the extrude depth you can change the extrude of the fill object not a stroke just fill you can change the extrude depth and here you can center it x y if you turn it off it's centered like this it's a you can center it in a z for example in this file that we spread that you can simply center it in a z here you can see if you want auto close when some your design that uh, is a open as line it automatically close that and make a fill object for that these two options greedy fill and force pdf for importing some design that don't, does not insert in Sino 4D and the most interesting part is hierarchy if you tick that look at here we have all of these files all of these 2D files that come to the 3D here we have a complete list of that here as you can see you can control all of them individually going back here tick hierarchy and you can simply has a control to them individually what's this all of the field object is a spline as you can see turn it off our field object is a star is a spline that import from illustrator and simply software give it extrude to that i will be explaining extrude and sweep in the previous session you can refer to them and then this is a sweep and simply sweep a spline in a rectangle profile very interesting and nice if you want one object you can untick hierarchy anytime that you want another interesting thing is sweep stroke control you can change the width here as you can see you can change the width you can change the depth of strokes you can change the depth of extrude here but for a stroke for sweep here you can change you can add a rounding at the corner simply if you want to uh, add a rounding to your extrude you can simply go and take a hierarchy and go into your extrude and we are here we, it is a cap we have a cap that i'll explain in detail in a previous descent and change your cap we have a lot of sitting so there are individual objects that you can see you can change them don't uh, change the hierarchy like this maintain its hierarchy and the null and layer don't change them going to the main tool the object and in this uh, vector object we have caps also it's changed the caps of the fill object as you can see you can control the two cap of our object going to back to the object surface uh, object tab and the interesting part is you can change the growth for motion graphics you can simply do do animation like this for your works and the offset here you can change the offset from the main object okay and we have the spline sitting for more quality you can change intermediate point that and explain in detail in the previous lessons as you can see you can change the quality of your strokes and the spline here so as you saw you can import your 3d model very nice and very uh, easy in your cinema 4d change them animation them and 
do anything that you want. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.